Ian Lee is the greatest writer of my generation. It's a statement you hear often and one I have myself uttered many times. I have read everything she has ever written and when I saw Where Reasons End, I was delighted and then deeply saddened. Here is a book I wish Lee did not have to write. This book is a meditation on grief and an exploration of the many ways you can approach it through literature. It is deeply personal, claustrophobically so at times, but it has to be. There is an autobiographical element Lee does not hide from the reader. The book was created in the aftermath of her own son's suicide. This book is a wildly intimate conversation between a mother and son outside of time and place, beyond the realm of life and death. We get to know the teenage son, who she calls Nikolai here, through him negotiating his own portrayal. Why did you have children if you knew this might happen? is the question that haunts this whole narrative when Nikolai simply asks his mother upon learning that she herself had long struggled with suicidal ideation. Lee's candor is everywhere in her own story and her son's, the starkly lit anecdotes of everyday domestic trials and tribulations, seemingly small but in the shadow of death, surreally enormous. It is impossible to read this gorgeous, haunting, brilliant book without feeling like you are drowning in your own grief, layers of tragic reflection you may have sought to bury. Where Reasons End unearths it all and holds a mirror to every culture's inevitable shortcoming, the ability to be at peace with our ends. Lee asks a final question, one that applies to so much in all our lives, as we ultimately grapple with diction and syntax where there was once flesh and blood. Where else can we meet but in stories now? Hello, I'm Yi Yun Li. I'm very honored that Where Reasons End is shortlisted for this year's Pan Faulkner Award. And I'm honored to be among a group of extraordinary writers. This is a strange time, hardly celebratory, but it's a good time to reflect and to think about the past and the present and the future. Where Reasons End was written during a difficult period of my life, and writing it was a way to search for words when language falls short of saying what one feels. Through working on the book, I learned patience and endurance and resilience of finding something solid to do each day, of knowing there is something in the future even though that future is not entirely known. There are similarities between that period and this time of pandemic. During this time of isolation and hardship, I hope my book, written from another time of hardship, could bring a moment of reflection to the readers and a moment of connection. Mm -hmm.